guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey babes how are you doing today you're highly 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 welcome to my channel and i went to the hospital um we have an appointment this morning with the uh, obstetrician so the plan is or the plan was if labor did not start by the 29th then we have to come in on my due date which is today so now we're headed to the hospital excuse my crusty ashy lips we are almost 30 minutes late our appointment is by 11 o'clock and it's almost 11 30 a.m so yeah you guys come along with us i don't know what they want to do today anyway but i'm, I'm not having any signs of labor yet although they said labor can start at any time like that some for some people it doesn't even give any signal you can just be okay one minute the next minute you're in labor um but for now no sign i haven't lost my mucus plug no blood issue no back pain no contraction i'm only i'm ha only having the braxton hicks um contraction i've been having that since let me say second trimester mine doesn't come with any pain anyway just my stomach just um hardens and then after a while it relaxes so i know that is the braxton hicks um contraction but apart from that i'm not having any other sign or anything that would say oh labor is um approaching but yeah Come along with us this morning to the hospital with my Ashley lips. Alright guys, so we are just waiting to be called. Um, the doctor just came, I think, a few minutes ago to check my blood pressure. Okay, she's here, sorry. Um, she came to check my blood pressure. It's a bit high, so she wants to use the... Is it fine? Okay. Okay. So she wants to do the, with the automatic one. Hopefully my pressure is not too high. Hey, Alta. Really? Hey, Alta. Oh, Alta. Mm. Whoa, 175. I see. No. It's What's this dead. one? 96. Mm. Wow. Okay. Come for All right, you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> So, um, we have a quick update. Um, I told you guys my the doctor said my blood pressure is high, so, um, as such, I'm currently at the Prontus Ocoso, which is like the emergency emergency unit so they're keeping an eye on my blood pressure and um babies um not babies blood pressure but babies um, heartbeat i guess so yeah this is change of plans i was thinking i would just you know get to go back home today but thank god they discovered that my pressure is a bit high so i'm going to be here till um they want to see if it stabilizes and if it does i, I get to go back home but if it doesn't, then I'll be admitted. So yeah, that's the update. This is what I have on my stomach. And that's the mission. It's fine. This is for you? What's that? For your relatives. This? No, for, my, for, for me. <laughs> for your baby. Yeah, for the future. <laughs> you guys, quick update. So the notice came and... Um, took some of my blood samples for some tests um, I was also given a tablet to reduce my blood pressure so for now my pressure is reading 143 over 83 so that's really really um, down from 175.96 so we are at 143.83 baby's heart is beating nicely over there so yeah that's the update <laughs> you guys so a lot has been happening for the past few hours I think the last time I spoke to you guys I was on the bed I was on the I was at the prone to circle so which is the emergency unit I was taking my uh, um, blood pressure and they were also monitoring baby so it's what's the time it's 502 now excuse me I'm sounding excuse me I'm looking but you know it all has changed so what's the update? The update is your girl has been um what what's the word again? So the update is um 
I will not be discharged today so I have been given a room now what happened is my blood pressure is high you guys saw the reading 175 over 97 so what they did was to give me a tablet to bring down the blood pressure now the doctor said that tablet is not good for the baby and for the placenta because it makes the placenta to start um, deteriorating and that besides baby's already full term today is supposed to be my um, expected estimated due date so there is no point you know waiting any longer or asking me to go back home you know to monitor my blood pressure there is no point for that they need to you know get things moving so um, i'm going to be induced induction is going to start tonight you guys i did not prepare myself mentally for this at all like all I had in mind was maybe I'll come to the hospital and they will say, oh, baby is not here. Let's give you one more week or a few more days to see if labor starts. But the, excuse my lips, I've been crying since because, girl. So the doctor even did the cervical check. I am zero centimeters dilated. She was like, I am closed, like totally closed. No sign of any, she can't even insert her hands, you know, further. So yeah, this is me in my hospital room and I'll give you guys a quick room tour although I'm not happy doing that because I didn't expect to, you know, just come all of a sudden I'm not going back home again. So I've sent Mr. Gilbert to go back home to bring my my bags. I haven't eaten all day. It's already past five. I've done my COVID test. I'm waiting for the result to come out. They said until the COVID result comes out, they can't start the induction process. Um, I have my cannula you guys it took about eight attempts to find the vein at the point they were about to go and bring the echography machine to you know use the machine to just look for the vein before going in with the needle because <sighs> four different nurses you see one thing I always pray in my life is never to have anything that would warrant you know an emergency intervention because I don't know what will happen. My veins are terrible. You know, after all the treatment I took, after you know everything I've been through, I have a lot of you know collapsed veins, so it's really difficult. I don't pray for any emergencies at all. But yeah, here we are after several attempts. This is just to if I tell you like how many other places they how many other places they try getting the veins from but nothing. But yeah, so that's on that. I just need to rest now. Um, Mr. Gilbert has gone home to bring my things. Sorry if I'm sounding a bit low. I don't want to scream too much just because, you know, this is a hospital, you know, area. So yeah, hopefully I get something to eat. But for now, enjoy the mini room tour, okay? <laughs> I can't wait to meet baby you guys just pray for me I can't wait to meet my son and let this phase just be over I just want to be a mother at this point coming in this is the main entrance door show you guys like this and then to the left here is the bathroom and toilet so this is where you just need to shower there's a shower head so if you've been to Italy before, or maybe Europe as a whole, I don't know, but let me just speak about Italy. You know that we have two toilet seats. So this is the main toilet seat, and this is what we call the bidet. So you do your business here, and then you wash here. Um, this is the towel dryer slash heater. Then over here, we've got the mirror and the sink. So, yep. Pretty decent and clean. Okay, then you can sit on that white thing over there. Did it help you draw the red wire? <laughs> okay, so coming out from the bathroom, you now walk into the main room itself. That's my bed over there with my little corner, and then if there's a second patient, that's going to be her own bed. Two drawers, one for me, one for the other person. This corner, I think, is where you shower, you, you bath the baby because there's a sink here. This is where you bath the baby and then a changing table for the baby. Um, yeah, that's on that. Fam, I'm, I'm down mentally, but I'm up in Jesus' name. But you know, when you don't prepare for something and then everything just happens, pa, 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 like you're not going home, you're going to stay here, induction, this, this, that, you buy too much. It's like, okay, calm down, calm down, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> What's going on? Everything is just happening at the same time. So, yeah.
My prayer is that by this time tomorrow, I should have my baby in my hands. That's my prayer. After all said and done, after the whole thing, I just want to have my son in my arms. So, God, one thing I know is that this good work you have started in my life, you are faithful to complete it perfectly. I'll see you guys later. Last time I was in the hospital like this on the bed was in 2016. <sighs> I can't thank God enough for his faithfulness in my life. I can't. From 2015 to 2016, from from let me say June 2015 to January, February 2016, I was literally in the hospital all through. Like not all true, but I would say I spent the major part of the year in the hospital. And never since then, you know, I've never had a reason to stay in the to spend the night in the hospital. God is good, you know. It just brings back memories. But this time is for good. <laughs> anyway, if I'm, I'm hungry, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, let me not use my ministry to be doing vlog. Let's see what they got for us to eat. Oh my god. What's all this month? So here we have this, um, what's it called? Ham. Which I don't really care for. Bye. Then this is, is this steamed apple? Because it's warm. And just like an apple. Oh my god. I don't want it. This is what rice. Okay, I can do rice, but where is the stew? Is it jollof? Is it fried? What, 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 what exactly are you giving? I can manage this. And this is the this is what mashed potatoes. I don't want it. And of course, are you in Italy if you don't have this? Like, are you even in an, in an Italian hospital if you're not served this hard bread? I'll see what I can do with that. You guys, I don't like anything here. I would just have to wait for Hobby to come because I don't know what it's not giving. It's not giving what it's supposed to give. I'm hungry, but nothing there is doing it for me at all, at all. Apart from the rice, and it's, that, eating that rice is just going to be like I'm eating plain white rice. Like, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Mm mm. Guys, so quick checking with you guys. Um, it's what's the time? Okay, so it's 8 p.m. I still haven't eaten, although Mr. Gilbert um, has brought me some food, but they didn't let him enter. I mean, see this whole COVID thing. I don't know. I need to understand their visiting times, but they didn't let him come in. Let me show you guys. So these are the things he brought for me. That's my own bag and baby's bag. Okay. Then he got me shortbread, malt, peanuts, and then I've got like proper food in that bag there. So what I want to do now is to go freshen up, take a shower, and then just come, relax, eat, and get ready for the show. I'm still waiting for the COVID test to come out. I don't know why it's taking forever. Um, once the result is out, again, like I said before, we'll, um, they will start the whole induction process. But for now, let me go take a bath and just feel clean and you know revived. Because for now, your girl is feeling higgy hana. Okay, so I'll just take a seat here and you know do my thingy, do my thingy. All right, I'll see you guys when I'm done. Okay, I'll be want to come and shower with me.
guys, so all of a sudden, I was called out from the room. They're about to start the induction. I haven't even showered, I haven't even eaten, nothing. So they're monitoring baby now, after which I'll be giving the induction drip. I'll have to ask her to let me eat because I have not eaten anything since today. It's already 9 p.m., no breakfast, no lunch, no dinner, nothing. I am hungry. I'll let them monitor the baby for like 10 to 15 minutes after which I need to eat a bag. So I'm in a different room now. I'm in a different room. They put this thing back on so they can monitor the baby. From right there. Okay, so that's the update. I'll see you guys later. Oh, alright hey guys. I'm back to the room. The induction process has started okay so apparently they have different types of induction they have the ones they do with um, some drugs for example pitocin or pitocin I don't know how they pronounce it and then they have the one you do they do without medication which is the balloon um, kind of induction so I'm doing the balloon one okay so they inserted some things or something into my you know my lady parts and um, the balloon is expected to you know expand inside there and then that expansion will in turn open up my cervix you know hopefully fingers crossed that's you know the prayer let me show you <laughs> this thing this wire is like right <laughs> tmi so that um the wire is it one or two like it's actually one but it has two ends so it's right up there you guys this stuff is so painful and then the nurse is telling me that this is not even the main contraction and the main contraction is about to start later on i'm like what the hell are you talking about <sighs> Fam, i cried like i cried so they inserted the thing and then injected i don't know if it's water or chemical or whatever thing they did but at the point of them injecting the liquid inside and the balloon, you know, swelling up. Oh my God. So painful. Anyway, it's already past midnight. I didn't even have, or oh, I no longer have the appetite to eat again. I just ate a few spoons of rice. The kebab for being bought for me is still here. At this point, I don't even care about food. I am so uncomfortable. A lot of pressure down there pelvic pain everything is just you know happening at the same time so yeah you guys i may have to end this vlog here um let's see how tomorrow goes or if contraction starts later at night i'll let you guys know but for now fam it's already midnight let me try and sleep because the nurses are like you better go and rest for tomorrow better go and rest so yeah that's the update My mask is still on. So yeah, I'm praying that by tomorrow I should, you know, I should be dilated and at least by the end of tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, I have I, my prayer is to have my baby in my arms. That's that's just my prayer. I don't want this thing to go from 24 to 48 hours because I heard that for some people labor starts like 48 hours later who has time for that? not me <laughs> so yeah my prayer is that by this time tomorrow you know I should be making another video with my baby in my arms um, I don't know if I told you guys I asked the doctors if I could um, if I can film the birth uh, um, vlog they said it's not allowed so yeah welcome to Italy anyway you guys will definitely get to see baby okay once baby arrives so yeah, I'm all dry, crusty, ashy, looking gigi hagaish. All of you that applied makeup before labor or during labor, man, kudos, kudos to every mother out there. This thing is not easy. Like any woman that has gone through this process. Kudos to you, and if you're still waiting in the waiting room for God to answer you, I pray that the same God who did it for me from nowhere, from nothing, just suddenly, I pray the same God visits 
your family. In Jesus' name, amen. So fam, I'll leave you guys for now. Um, I don't know, should I end the vlog here? Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, um, do well to leave a girl a huge thumbs up. Leave a nice comment down below. I will see you guys in my next video, God willing. But until then, 